6. The cities of Sandy Springs and Johns Creek will have to dig a little deeper to pay for 911 services. That's because Chatcom 911 is in the red for the second year running. Channel 2's Mike Pachanik just questioned one of Chatcom's directors. He's live in Sandy Spring. Mike. John, it's costing about $5.7 million a year for Chatcom to operate out of this building here in Sandy Springs, but it's costing more than they are bringing in. So the cities who uh, subscribe to it are going to have to pick up the difference. We've not cut staff. We've not um, increased the amount of time that it takes for an operator to answer the phone or dispatch emergency resources. But Sandy Springs assistant manager Noah Ryder tells us Chatcom 911 is operating in the red, short about a million dollars. So it's two subscribers, Sandy Springs and Johns Creek, are picking up the difference. So we think the recession has played a lot into that. Sandy Springs and Johns Creek residents pay $1.50 a month for each phone line. But Ryder says collecting that money isn't always easy and projecting revenues even more difficult. Um, and it's never an exact science. You're trying to predict uh, the number of wireless phones that people will subscribe to, um, the number of landlines that people might be unsubscribing from. It's, it's a hard calculation to make. We'll go ahead and send somebody out there, okay? According to Chatcom, of the nearly 23,000 calls for service last year, Sandy Springs callers accounted for a little more than 62% of them, while Johns Creek callers accounted for about 38% of the calls. Each city is picking up its respective percentage of the shortfall. Ryder says the goal is for Chatcom to eventually pay for itself. Anytime you spend money from the general fund, it's not available for something else, but it's not impacting the service to the citizens. Ryder tells me that later this year, Dunwoody will become a part of Chatcom, paying about $3 million into the system. There's also some legislation out there that will require people who have prepaid phones to pay about 75 cents per month into the system. He says all of that combined will help Chatcom be self-sufficient. We're live in North Fulton County in Sandy Springs. I'm Mike Pachenik, Channel 2 Action News.